All right, uh, welcome back to my uh, video. Today we're going to um, install Squid Proxy onto our Linux server that we've got running in the cloud. And the cloud we've got at the moment is um, run by UltraServe, um, which is a uh, cloud system based on CentOS Linux. And we're going to run the Squid program, which is a HTTP web accelerator which is a cloud um, or web-based optimization uh, for http uh, https and ftp web uh, requests so squid is a caching proxy for the web supporting those various uh, protocols and others but these are the main one um, that squid seems to be able to use it reduces its bandwidth and improves response times by caching and reusing frequently requested web pages. Squid uh, web server uh, web caching has extensive access controls and makes a great server accelerator. So this means when you visit a web page, your web page will be uh, pre-saved um, from the previous request that you've already visited. So it's going to load very fast once you're uh, web uh, has once you visited the website when you reload it again it will visit and rerun the website uh, very quickly and pull down the latest version and only update uh, certain components of the website uh, that's uh, last previously requested uh, from the previous um, visit uh, but including windows it's licensed under the gnu gpl uh, version of the license so you can use it on open source uh, such as linux uh, i'm using today is uh, linux based on the uh, centos enterprise um, in actually got it hosted on the uh, cloud uh, system so it's in the cloud and we're going to be accessing our uh, web uh, web browser i guess which we're using internet explorer which is um, ie version 9 which is currently the latest one out there but um, as you can see we've got our uh, browser open and we can actually see our uh, proxy in the tools internet options um, connections land setting and proxy server under proxy server you got use a proxy server for your land setting and we'll be using today our IP address which is our cloud IP address so we can simply type in uh, our IP address of our cloud our one is uh, 113.192.168.1 uh 106 and we're going to be listening on uh, port 8080 port 8080 is default uh web proxy that uh i guess the web proxy uses so which is squid and we click ok so that, what that's going to do is tell internet explorer to i guess connect to the web proxy and which is in the cloud system based on the Linux uh, CentOS Enterprise version. So I've just um, logged in back into our web server, which is our uh, CentOS Linux, uh, CentOS Linux uh, Enterprise and Squid um, proxy server uh, for web caching. You need these two um, systems to or applications to be running and properly configured and fully installed so i've just run yum yum install and squid and pressed enter so now i've just installed squid and now i just have to find the squid.com file which is the squid configuration file and i just type in cd space slash forward etc squid slash and then i type vi which is the editor or you can use any editor that you like but i'm using uh, vi it's because it's easy. Uh, if you go to vi space squid dot conf for configuration, we can press the I key in vi, and then we scroll down to our access control list, so we can allow our request to be accepted from the web browser. Um, so I'm just going to allow access to um, allow all actually, HTTP underscore allow all 
and write this file out to the file. Then we go quit um, colon q. Then we type in infconfig. Press enter a few times. Then we go back to our computer and make sure our proxy server um, CentOS virtual machine is up and running. Uh, if we go to the proxy server, uh, use a proxy server for your LAN. Uh, if we click in here and if we type in 113.192.119, oh sorry, 19.06, and then we go to port 8080 and we press enter and OK. Uh, we have to go back to our uh, Windows uh, based. I guess remote terminal access. So I'm using Zoc Pro, but Putty is another good one for remote access. And we type in squid.vi, uh, sorry, vi space squid.conf and press I again. And we scroll down to our allowing our port number to be accepted, which is the default. Uh, default port for squid is uh, 3128, but we're going to try and use our own port, which is 8080, which is the one we just accepted into. Uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, if we write out this to our file, which is squid.com and colon w colon q, and we go to, uh, I believe it's service, type in service, uh, squid start. And starting squared, and it got a status message back saying status is okay, which means the started service is now squid, and the squid now started. Uh, if we go to service squid status, and we should get a squid PID PID number one six zero seven nine is running, which means if you want to kill the um, application at any time, you can just go kill space dash nine. And then you just type in the squid number, which is 16079, and press enter. And that will terminate and stop completely uh, squid running at all. So if squid's running on that uh, 16079 uh, ID number, then squid will stop and be terminated. Uh, we're gonna, we want to run squid, actually. So if we type in service, uh, HTTP, and start. And the status will go squid start and OK. And squid, squid uh, space status. Then uh, service squid space status. That will go squid again. And PID is running on a different PID. 16115 is running. So squid is now running in the background. Just type in IP table space uh, dash L, capital L. IP tables dash L, and we should have an anywhere and anywhere in the um, firewall which is allowing that application to talk. So we should be able to go to Google now, and this should load our web proxy, which is it will accelerate web requests uh, very fast.